Welcome, everybody, to the 2023 election season for the National Society of IT Service Providers. I'm Carl. I'm the executive director and founder, and I just want to give you a super quick introduction to elections this year and what you can look forward to. So we're going to give a little bit of background and then uh, give you the specifics about this year's election and answer a few questions and then give you contact information so you can ask some more questions. First of all, I highly encourage everybody to attend the August 9th all-member meeting. This is going to be open to absolutely everybody, and we have many important topics, one of which is our new association management, but also we're going to talk about the elections and we're going to answer a lot of questions about the elections. So tune in for that. Go to nsitsp.org slash events, and the all-member meeting is right there at the top. It is free. It is open to members and non-members. Obviously, we want you to go ahead and become a member. So the elections page, which we're going to take a look at in a minute, will be up at nsitsp.org slash elections, and that will go live August 1st. Our calendar this year is very straightforward, very much like last year. August is the month when you can sign up to run for an office. And that literally just, you're, you're going to walk through it. It's super, super simple. You go to the page, you click and say, I want to run for office. You upload your picture and a statement about why you want to run for office. And then you can put in your social media links, uh, associations that you're a member of, whatever you want. You want to make yourself look as good as possible. All of that is going to be available to all members to look at. So just go ahead and, and put it up there. You can run for office without filling that stuff out. But I assure you, somebody is going to be bugging you nonstop to go fill out your profile and finish filling out the information. So if you want to, you can take the time now to prep those statements. So then you can just copy and paste them into the form when the time comes. And then in September, the first couple of weeks in September are campaigning. Basically, this is your opportunity to tell people, hey, get ready. Uh, make sure that you're signed up. Make sure you're a paid member so you can vote for me. And I want your vote. Please vote for me. When in doubt, vote for me. Hey, I'm the person you should vote for. Vote for me. And then September 14th through the 22nd, we have about eight days of voting. So people, again, go back to the site. Anyone who is a member, a paid member of the National Society can cast a vote. Uh, one vote per person, one voting person per company. So if you have a company membership, check to see who the voting member is. Uh, now, People who are elected, those elections, the results will be announced on the 22nd. But if you are elected, you would take office the first meeting of your committee or board in October. So there's a little bit of, of time lap there. And of course, we have some prepped materials for onboarding new committee members. All right, rules. In order to run, you must be a paid professional member. The form to run won't actually show up <laughs> if you are not a paid member. So we have some rules in place on the website. Uh, we have some intelligence there to, to know whether or not you uh, have been registered or paid as a member. You cannot vote unless you're a paid member. So obviously, if you want to participate in what this organization looks like going forward, then paying to be a member allows you to run and it allows you to vote. So it is absolutely worth doing. You may vote once. Uh, you can't change your vote. So basically, we're going to keep track of whether a member has voted or hasn't voted, but we can't keep track of how you voted because then it won't be an anonymous vote. Um, so once you voted, just be careful, do your research, and um, uh, know what you're doing before you click Submit. 
the elections page, it's it's there if you want to look at it now, but basically it, it's going to go live for 2023 on August 1st, and it is nsatsp.org slash elections. And that's where you're able to uh, run for office. If you scroll down, you'll see there's lots and lots of great information there. Uh, and so it'll prep you for everything you need to know about the elections. Now, a few questions that come up all the time. So last year, about half of the positions were elected for two years and the, the rest for one year. All of those one-year positions are now standing for a full two-year term. Anyone who was appointed since the last election will also be able to run for a full two-year term. So all positions are for two years, and a little over half of the positions are open just because of the nature of what we did last year. Last year, we said, for most of our committees have seven members, the elections committee has more, I believe, but basically we said, look, the first four people are elected for two years and everybody else is elected for one year, so about half of the positions are open this year. Uh, anyone who was elected this year would serve for a two-year term. I will note, if somebody is serving on a committee and they are not up for election this year because they their term ends in 2024, this is their opportunity to run for the board and not have to give up their seat. So it's a... Uh, I wouldn't say it's like the, <laughs> the United States Senate, but uh, you know what I mean? You don't have to give up your seat in order to uh, run for a board position. The offices that are open are basically all of them. So uh, I believe three members of the board of directors, uh, at least four, maybe five members of the marketing committee and so forth. So there's there's openings in all the committees. And so Whatever, wherever you want to serve, we would love to have you run for office. Now, each of those committees or, or the board has a chair or a president. And the way that it works is these elections are to serve for that office. It is up to the elected members to choose their own chair, their own president. So uh, the bodies choose uh, their own membership and their own leadership. And so uh, just in case you were not clear from the last slide, if there's an opening on a board position, say six months from now, a committee position, whatever, uh, that committee chooses the replacement for that position and that person serves until the next election, at which point they are eligible to serve a full two-year term. So anyway, so if you have any questions about any of that, please let me know. I'll be happy to clarify and even update a recording if I need to. We do get the question from time to time, is there any pay for this? I don't know why we get that question, but no, there is no pay for this. This is uh, These are all volunteer positions. Can vendors serve on committees and the board? Absolutely, yes. So we have a couple of vendors on our board right now. We've always had vendors on our board. We've always had vendors in our committees. We are happy to have them. Vendors are a vital piece of this community. I think we have a rule that vendors cannot constitute a majority of any body, but that really hasn't been an issue. Vendors are not actively seeking to take over our organization. <laughs> uh, most of them don't even know we exist. So uh, our job is to make sure that they do know we exist and to have some influence and to join us as vendor partners. Note to the vendor partners that we have, your vendor partnership includes one paid professional company membership, which in turn, contains one paid professional voting membership. So vendors get one vote, the same as anybody else. Uh, everyone's vote is the same. You get one vote per company. So uh, vendors are encouraged to participate and we would be happy to have you. We have had some spectacular vendors who have really contributed tremendously. Ray Orsini uh, has been spectacular at the very founding of this organization. Heather Johnson has served on the board and does a spectacular job. And, uh, you know, Ben Yarbrough serves on the legislative committee. And right anyway, 
has just these people put in lots of time and effort to make this organization go. And so uh, if if they are models of what vendors can do for us, we need more of them. So don't be shy about that. If you have additional questions, stay tuned to the NSITSP blog. So that is at uh, nsitsp.org slash news. And uh, I post up stuff, Amy posts up stuff. We'll be putting up more and more stuff for the elections as we get closer and we will keep bugging you. And then also stay tuned to that elections page. The 2023 activity goes live August 1st. And of course, if you have any questions, just send an email to me, carlp at nsitsp.org. And if you have any doubts, please, consider running for office. And if you are not sure whether or not you really want to do it, send me an email. Let's uh, set up a call or whatever. And uh, I'll, I'll be, I will do what I can to talk you into it. <laughs> Thank you all for your support. And with luck, we will have as many candidates this year as we did last year because we had a full house and I appreciate it. <laughs> <laughs>